so you so most people have heard how the occult they if they get up high enough in those ranks in the occult they know secret knowledge is do you want to know what that secret knowledge is i'm going to tell you right now what it is the secret knowledge they know is that they're always operating on a delay a delay they actually know there's a god even your atheists do most of them because most of them will say they're in a cult, they're liars, or they'll say that they don't believe in God, but yet they're in cults. Um, what they do know at that top is that there is a God, they don't want to follow that God, and that God will return in an instant once he sees the people standing up for those that are righteous. That's all, that's all that had to happen. So, Ten years after Jesus uh, rose from the dead, or a day after that, the kingdom of heaven could have came then. Yes, it could have. It could have. God waits. God waits and keeps seeing his people fall into the same traps, either pushing back against their oppressors, which you should push, instead of pushing back against them, you should stand up for those that are doing righteous. This is 2013, by the way. Pervert. Alert, serial sexter Anthony Weiner, who Anthony Weiner was Uma Abedin's husband, and Uma Abedin was Hillary Clinton's right hand person, has promised to use Twitter as a tool. Parents, make sure your children have him blocked. 2013. And yet, he's, there's many other tweets like that protecting children, standing up for children, and then went into office and did so. So, what does God want to see? wants to see that his people have enough strength and aren't so selfish and worried about themselves that they'll stand up for those that are righteous. And that wicked side knows it. That wicked side knows that the moment the people realize, oh, all we, we could have had God bring us, inherit, we could have inherited the kingdom today if the people that want a good world actually stood up for the men that show deeds that were of a righteous um, fruit. That's, that's the, all the wicked has done all this time is delay their fate. That's all they can do. They know their fate, but they just can delay it. And the way they delay it is by convincing people God doesn't real, convincing people the Bible is bullshit, convincing um. Uh, people that you should push push back against oppressors, get up and rally and, and protest and fight. But what God wants to see is God wants to see if you if you truly walk with him, that you're going to stand up at all costs. Stop being selfish. Stop worrying about your health. Your health doesn't matter. Your job doesn't matter. Your money doesn't matter. It means having to have enough faith to realize none of those things matter next to God. They don't. Because God ultimately gives the rewards and the, and the gifts. Yes, he does. It talks about it in the Bible. So the last thing the occult, the wicked, want to see you do is stand up for the righteous. They want you to just throw him overboard and just say, well, he's on his own. I got enough. I got to worry about I got my health problems. I got to worry. I took this shot. I got to, I got to worry. I can't make my bills. Yeah, God says, okay, my, my, kid, my kids still aren't getting it then. Yeah, so carry on, occult. Because you, you're, you're still you're still able to you know trick them. That's what God's waiting for. Because He gave you free will. So when you decide, when and who knows, maybe it won't be our generation. I would hope that it would, but maybe it won't. People wonder why um, God uh, let the Jews all all those Jews be annihilated. Well, because He wasn't. They weren't. They had free will. They weren't standing up for the right things. The occult isn't going to stand up for the right things, but they're, and it's not about how many numbers you have on your side, as it is that the people that do stand up for righteous people, they can't just, um, they can't just say it secretly. They have to stand up. They have to live it. They have to show, no, I don't care what you do to me. I don't care if you fire me. I don't care what you take from me. I know that the kingdom of God exists, but it takes me having to show that I'm willing to sacrifice everything to stand up for those that were leaders doing righteous things. That, that's, that's what God wants to see. I guarantee it with all my heart. I do. I guarantee it. 
like tomorrow Jesus could change this because he can wipe it away, wipe the wicked away. But he doesn't until he sees that his people realize what they have to stand up for. And it's not standing up for freedom. It's not standing up for, um, you know, a certain um, agenda. You have to stand up for the people that were righteous and that didn't just speak that they were righteous, but their deeds show it. Trump's deeds throughout his life show that he is a righteous man. He was righteous when he was in office. You're wicked. You're far left radical. That's all in, you know, just uh, brainwashed. They're not going to see it. They're going to stay on that path. And unfortunately, you just have to let that go. But for those that believe in the Bible, for those that believe in Jesus Christ, what Jesus wants to see from you is not that you're going to get all mad that they, um, not that you shouldn't get mad if they arrest Trump, but the fact that it's happening again. So like it happened to Jesus, if it could happen to Jesus, it would happen to everybody because it happened to him. So it's sort of like, I don't know, God kind of saying, when it, when are you guys going to get a clue that as long as you don't stand up for the righteous people that do good deeds, as long as you be, are weak and stay silent and just worry about yourselves and your little knit in the world, that you will stay in the kingdom of darkness. The, the, the occult will continue to have dominion over your land because you refuse to stand up for the righteous. That has not just righteous words, but righteous deeds. So all this time, the kingdom of heaven could have came at any time. Just like the Wizard of Oz, it was up to Dorothy to realize she had the power. Same thing here. You have to realize that you can't just sit on the sidelines and say, oh, yeah, I supported Trump, but oh, it's too bad. They're going to arrest him now. No, you have to stand up and speak up. And look at France. France is amazing. I mean, they're really going balls to the wall fighting their government. And they don't have weapons, but boy, do they find a lot of ways to let them have it. That's a strong group of people. Now, I'm not suggesting going to war against your government. What God needs to see from this nation, though, is that people are willing to put everything on the line to stand up for this man because he stood up and his deeds and his fruits showed that he put the most innocent first. So if God sees that people aren't going to stand up for something like that, then the wicked continue on having their dominion over our land. If you don't want them to have dominion over our land anymore, then I suggest you serious re seriously reflect, get with your family, talk to them about how you're going to stand up no matter the cost. For a man that was doing righteous and is trying to help people see that if you want to have the kingdom of heaven on earth, then you better show that you deserve it and you're worthy of it.